What books have you read to improve your marriage? Well, today we're going to talk about our top five. We are Dr. David and Teresa Mabry from One Another Marriage, and welcome to our YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. If it's your first time with us, welcome. If you are one of our One Another couples, thank you so much for your support. Mm -hmm. And now, before we get to our top five, we have some honorable mentions yes. that we want to discuss with you and just kind of share a little bit. Yeah, because those top five are really important books. But how do you even crystallize it down to just five books? And we're not it's even going to do those in a in a, a particular <laughs> order. It's just kind of, hey, these five we really love. But here are some four, four. that we mm -hmm. thought, hey, you know what? Um, these are ones worth mentioning. Right. First one we've already done a video on, right? We have. So the five love like five love languages by Dr. Gary Chapman, um, very popular book. Strengths-Based Marriage. Jimmy Evans has written this one in partnership with Gallup, who does a strengths-based test. It's enough on that one. Mm -hmm. Boundaries in Marriage. This is by Cloud and Townsend. And then Willard Harley, Jr., who has written Love Busters. He's written a couple other things as well. So this is a good one as well. All right, so let's get into it. David's going to start, okay? Honorable mentions are put to, uh, to the side. And the first one that I want to start with is really a foundational book that we believe that every couple should read this and consume information from the Gottman Institute. Dr. John Gottman, he has written The uh, Seven Principles for Making Marriage Work. And we highly recommend this book. It's very practical. The Gottman Institute mm -hmm. has done great research uh, John and his wife have, uh, they observe couples in this like environment where they kind of set up an apartment and they observe them and they can predict divorce and they can, they really help uh, couples. This is a wonderful book that we highly recommend that you uh, consume it. And you're probably going to recognize some in that if you've been around any kind of marriage work at all or you read any other articles or blogs or whatever it may be. Highly recommend this book. Awesome. So book number two that we're going to talk about, it's just white cover, but um, <laughs> it's, what a surprise. We're going to have a couple like that. Yeah. So it's actually called Marriageology. Mm -hmm. That's like a tongue twister a little bit. Marriageology, written by Belinda Luscombe. And mm -hmm. she basically has been a writer for Time Magazine for about 20 years now. She's written in several other publications as well. Um, but she's just, um, it's an easy read. It's a funny read. She has a mm -hmm. great sense of humor, mm -hmm. and um, she's also very research-based. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, she basically has broken it down into six chapters, all beginning with the letter F. F. So I'll just read it to you real quick. So familiar, familiarity, fighting, finances, family, fooling around, and finding help. And once again, just an easy read. Um, a funny read and very practical for the information that she's given. So the next book, I also took the cover off of it, and <laughs> it is The Meaning of Marriage by Tim and Kathy Keller. And so I can do the same thing, I'm showing yeah, a can. blank cover <laughs> the entire time. But you get the idea. And by the way, all of these books, we're going to put even the honorable mentions, yes. we'll put in the description below, and mm -hmm. you can click on that and find each of these books. So hopefully you're not madly taking notes or right. watching this video 10 different times so you can remember which ones they are. Right. Just click on the links below and to be able to find these books. But the Kellers, uh, uh, Tim Keller is a pastor at Redeemer Presbyterian Church in New York City. It's a large mm -hmm. church. And this reads very much like a pastor wrote it. And I mean that in all the best ways. He's very pastoral, very biblical, mm -hmm. and it helps you. Uh, the Bible has a lot to teach us about relationships, right? Absolutely. And so his meaning of marriage really dives into um, uh, how to have a healthy marriage, but also the, the description of what God purposes for a marriage in the first place. It's a really enjoyable read. In fact, let me just share this. This is a book sure. that I ask students within uh, the graduate program that I oversee at Barclay College and Marriage and Family Ministries. Uh, this is one of the books that we read for the marriage class that I teach. Mm -hmm. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. All right. Book number, this is number four, right? Yes, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four. <laughs> Book number four by Gary Thomas, 
Sacred Marriage, mm -hmm. okay? Gary Thomas is a writer in residence at a church in Houston, Texas, has also written several several other books. Um, he would specifically be writing from a Christian view, viewpoint. Mm -hmm. um, and so his book, Sacred Marriage, is really good about just talking about um, how your marriage relationship can be more holy um, with, with the emphasis on drawing closer to God, which then draws you closer together as a couple. Mm -hmm. And I'll read just, real, uh, just a real quick uh, sentence or two here. It says, The ultimate purpose of this book is not to make you love your spouse more, although that's not a bad thing, but it's to equip you to love your God more and to help you reflect the character mm -hmm. of his son more precisely. Mm -hmm. So it Good really stuff. does dive into the sacredness of your marriage and what does that mean from a spiritual viewpoint. That's right. And it's good to clarify for that book too, is that uh, Gary Thomas is not insisting upon a perfect marriage. So if you hear Correct. that holy word right. and you think holy means perfect, that is not what it is. Mm -hmm. Holy means set apart. And it's relying on God to help you live that set apart or sacred marriage mm -hmm. as, as he says. And so once again, uh, another one that's coming from, uh, from a Christian standpoint, but once we, we, of course, believe the Bible, once again, has a lot to teach about that. And that may not be your frame of reference, and that's okay. You can find value in this material. And so the final one that we want to say on our top five, once again, no particular order, is Love and Respect by the Egeriches. So uh, Emerson Egerich uh, has his PhD in family and uh, marriage therapy, mm -hmm. and they, him and his wife run a ministry, uh, a marriage ministry called Love and Respect. And what they base this upon is the fact that in their research and what they find, and from a biblical standpoint, that the wives uh, want love and the men, the husbands, want respect. And this is, lines up perfectly with mm -hmm. one another relationships when we talk about a mutually beneficial reciprocal relationship. It's where you see the circle, right? And the more that she feels love, the more she can give respect. Mm -hmm. And the more he feels respect, the more that he can love. And that's a healthy cycle that you can be on. Right. And both equally giving love and respect within a relationship. So that simple concept is unpacked in this book, and we highly recommend Love and Respect by the Egeriches in their, uh, and their ministry. And once again, links even for these organizations, Gottman Institute, uh, uh, Love and Respect, we'll put those in the, in the description below. Right. All right, so there you have it. Those are our top five marriage mm -hmm. books, ranging from several years. We've had some of these books for several years. Uh, to I think our most recent one might be the marriage marriageology. Yeah, um, yeah that's book. a recent publication. So, <clears throat> yeah. So we hope that you found um, this video helpful. Uh, once again, please like, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and join us in the comments below. What are books that you have found that have helped you in your relationships? And make those comments below mm -hmm. and share. And let's join in this community one with another. Thank you very much for joining us.